Oh wait, I gotta play Fung Mean, right? For my ritual? Be chased by the killer for two minutes. Oh, I'll get that done in one game. <laughs> this Fung Mean should be the next cosplay. I don't know, I don't know if I could pull it off. I don't know if I could pull off a corset. I think that top would make my shoulders look really broad too. Which they are. Obviously, but um, I don't know if it would be a good one for me. There is a cosplay stream this weekend. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday will be the cosplay one. So, uh, Saturday will be the fundraiser, main fundraiser. We'll also be doing a fundraiser on, on Sunday, but it'll be after the main fundraiser stream. Oh, corrupt intervention. You must be in high MMR. All the high MMR killers are running corrupt intervention. It's twins. Sadly, this does not count as being chased. I wish it did. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You get on the generator with us. Victor didn't want to get on the gen with us. Is this a fun twins? Or are they just saying hello? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so weird. I guess we're doing a farm game. Which, against the twins, I'm not like super uh, against that. I think I've got enough altruism. Time to duck out. Because we gotta get a gen done, and they've got everyone on dead hook now. So, like, what are they gonna do now? You know what I mean? I don't particularly like farm games, but I'd rather do this than play an actual game against the twins, so I'll take it. Yeah, you know, watch Noed Twins. Noed Blood Warden Twins. Because I don't know what perk she has other than Corrupt Intervention. She has Sloppy Butcher, right? Corrupt Intervention, Sloppy Butcher. Uh, no one blood warden. Yeah, if she's farming, she might have barbecue. Yeah, I'll probably let her kill me. Too often with farm games, the survivors are like, "We all get out now, right?" Ooh. Unless she wants to do a slug race, that'd be really funny with Victor, actually. Thanks. A true 99. There we go. I mean, still, I think the best slug race I've ever had was... The only slug race I've ever had was with that Deathslinger. Because he had a gun, so it was perfect. We're twins now. I boot Victor. He's just hanging out in the in the basement. Okay, fine. I'll leave my I'll leave my offering to you. <laughs> Hang on a second. Bill left this map. Hmm. Wow.
<laughs> I'm glad we're having fun nodding at each other. Do you, do you see? Do you see? Do you see our offerings for you? We left you we left you five presents. You like that, Victor? You like your presents? Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. Oh, you kicked Victor. You kicked Victor. That is not cool. That is not cool. Who kicked Victor? Can't believe you did that. What if we all died here? What do you guys want to do? You guys want to die or escape? Oh, let's go to the, let's go to the basement. It's time to kill us, Victor. Here, everybody get into position. Everybody get into position. Everybody pick your hook. Pick your favorite hook. Mine's this one. Or David can just keep nodding. That's cool, too. <laughs> I've never seen a farm game end like this where all four survivors are on the same page of like, yeah, we'll die in the basement. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> Sea killers, you can have fun and still get a 4K. I love you all, even Meg. That's true, that's true. <laughs> that was great. Should I do an anime face too? <laughs> Look, I anime faced. <laughs> Ooh. <-woo. laughs> Can we end on that one? <laughs> Yeah, that might be. Do you think <laughs> I'm gonna write that down for YouTube? Yeah, that'd be funny. Um, I've been working on the office for like two years, and you guys have only seen this part of it. You haven't seen the rest of it. But it's it's it's. Finally coming together. But yeah, my uh, my office is pretty cool looking now. Like, so the way it's set up, I had one picture that I posted on Twitter of it like half done, but I've got this acoustic foam almost all over the walls, more for visuals than anything else. So yeah, and then I've got I've got a couple of like displays that have like like one of them has a bunch of Goosebump books on it, and then I've got one that's like all graphic novels and stuff. So I've got like all my Junji Ito manga, which I have all the ones that are published in English. Uh, I saw a couple episodes of the Junji Ito anime. I didn't really see what the all the hate was about. Very weird to me. The ones that I saw were like an almost like a one-to-one -one adaptation of the manga, so I don't know. And then I've got a bunch of game art books. I've got a lot that I've collected over the years. Like I have the Tormentum art book, and I'm not trying to brag, but that shit is gonna be rare as fuck soon. But yeah, I've got um, I've got the Darkest Dungeon art book, um, Dying Light Two art book. They sent that one to me though. A bunch of other ones. I've got the White Day art book. Oh yeah. White Dale Labyrinth named School, that's right. I've got the art book for that shit.
Again, they sent it to me, so, you know, it's not like I went out and sought it out myself, but... This is cool. Okay, corrupt intervention again. Oh, um, okay. If it glows, it goes. Um, I'm also, I'm also in the middle of reading, um, Fist of the North Star, which I didn't expect to be the way that it is, but I'm still enjoying it. It's still cool. I don't like anime at all, but for some reason reading manga is like a lot less cringe to me. I just can't watch it. If I watch it, I get secondhand embarrassment too much. I guess Attack on Titan is an exception. There are, so, there are some exceptions, but I don't know what this Huntress is doing. I'm trying to get Jane up here. Come on, Jane. Wow, she's really trying to get those hatchets, huh? Is she just slugging? She got hatchets. There's actually, they've actually got both of the windows blocked. What? I've never seen both of the windows blocked in the main building. That sucks. Have y'all ever seen both of those windows blocked? There's usually, there's usually at least one of them open. Not two, cause that's, I've never seen two, for good reason, but I'm very confused by both of them. Well, yeah, that one. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the good ones. I'm not talking about the shitty one. I don't care if the shitty one's open. I can't, I can't get you. Oh my god. This Huntress is slugging a lot. It's starting to annoy me. We're never gonna get these done, man. We're, we are giving this Huntress chase after chase after chase after chase. As soon as she unhooks, she goes in a chase. And this is the type of game that has the rhythm of a loss. That's what I'm saying. She get, She's getting down after down after down. Nice. I have no idea. Why aren't you on this generator with me? These guys do not want to win. I have no idea why she's not on the generator with me. What? <laughs> I knew she was going to wait. She has to get more. She has to get more uh, hatchets. <laughs> Try to get that hit. Of course, I'm doing this long chase for fucking nothing. Doing this long chase for absolutely no reason. Because nobody's doing any gens or anything. 
Sorry, I don't mean to complain, it's just... Just AFK. I can't believe nothing got done while I was doing all that. How's DVD going? Hi, Gary. Well, um, I just went on a. How long was that chase chat? Minute and a half, maybe? Minute and a half chase? I mean, I took her to Killer Shack. I took her from across the map to Killer Shack to main building back to Killer Shack. So it was at least a minute and a half, I would say. Nearly two minutes, yeah, and they, they only did one generator and one of them's AFK. <laughs> yeah, and they got the gen done like oh, 20 seconds after I got hooked. Nia, Nia's AFK, she gave up on hook. Perfect. Thanks. Why is she slugging? She's constantly slugging. Just think, if we didn't have that AFK Nia, we could have had the last gen done. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Jane, just loop her for a little bit. I'll be able to get it done. Does she have adrenaline? That would be sick if she had adrenaline. Damn. I'm just gonna have to get on it. What? No. I think I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. Sorry. She was coming towards me, or on the other side of the map, and I'm still a little sore about earlier. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can't win against Huntress there. Don't blame me. Blame the AFK Nia, dude. I... I did my part, okay? See, it says... See, here it says... <clears throat> that I had 47 seconds worth of chase time. But we know that that isn't true. Let me... Let me take a look. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do this. I just wanna see how long the actual chase was. Because you know how it is with DVD. You'll be like... Oh man, I took them on like a three minute chase! And then you look at the footage, and it's like, oh, that was 35 seconds. <laughs> Not three minutes, it just felt like three minutes. So let's take a look. So 238.58, let's see how long it actually was. Okay, so here, all I'm trying to do, I might as well just narrate what I was doing. All I'm trying to do is get line of sight blockage, because she's got her hatchet raised. So I'm just trying to keep, that's why I ran to those rocks. I'm just trying to keep like stuff in between us like that she's gonna hit there she's gonna miss and then i'm gonna be like okay good now i can get to the other side of killer shack right i wait here because i want to see if she's gonna go around the other side or if she's actually gonna come to this side because on killer shack it's important to know which way they're coming from uh, so i see that she's coming around this side so i go you still have enough time i see that she's after me i figure she's gonna try to go for a window hit so i just go to the wall and it actually turns out that she went through the shack. So again, won that mind game. I go through the shack this time because I don't hear her raising her hatchet. 
So I know it's safe to do so. And I see she doubles back. She gets a hit right there. So that's... Uh, that was about like 40 seconds, right? And then I go this way... Because I decided to peel off of Shaq, and I see right here that she's going to get hatchet. So I'm like, okay, time to leave. And I'm like, I'll go towards the main building. I'll get as much distance, because she's still chasing me. This is, still, this is all still one chase. And I'm like, I go in. Because, again, against Huntress, it's really important to have, like, a line of sight blockage or some kind of, like... Like, if you're close. Now, I figure she's probably going to try to hit a snipe here, but I don't really do anything to counterplay it. <laughs> and then I and then I immediately leave the loop again, which we've still got plenty of distance, and I know she's going to line up a shot like right here at the hill, so that's why I dead hearted. And then I go window side, and I see I see but in the crack I saw her red stain, so I moved back. She went for the window hit, she didn't get it. I see that she's going to go back to the locker, so I decided to leave the loop because it gives you extra time to just get out. She just straight up missed that one, although I did pause a little bit. I think it might have hit my head otherwise. Now, I fucked up here. This is kind of a hard tile to play. I fucked up here because I went to this side um, thinking that she was going to go through the pallet, but she decided to go the other way. Now, interestingly, see that red right there? It's, it's barely noticeable. Red right here. So I see that she's turned back. So I know that she's waiting for me at the pallet. Anyway, so then I decide to go back the other way. She doesn't have her hatchet raised here. She, she raised it here, but I know that she's going to throw it like right there. So I move out a little bit and dodge it. Go in. I, it's safe to throw the pallet now because she doesn't have a hatchet raised. When Huntress has a hatchet raised, you don't want to throw it on the pallet because she just gets a hit. She raises it again. And then I, I decide to stick around the pallet. Whenever you have a pallet down, it's good to try to play it. Now right here, this is tough. See, now that I'm on the short end of the loop. You never want to be on the short end of the loop if you can help it, but I didn't really have a choice here. And here, um, I see her red stain. I think she's going to try to get a shot, but I didn't have much options left, so I decided to, to vault, and then I got downed. So there's the recap. So what was that? How how long was that? Two forty one oh four. Something six. Was it two minutes and six seconds? And then let's see my favorite part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> my teammates. <laughs> uh, two of them on a gen that they're like halfway done with, and then one person who's just standing there. Perfect. Yeah, so that was two minutes and six seconds. But, uh, yeah, DB according to DVD, I was in a chase for 40-something seconds, right? 48 seconds. Whatever. By the way, just, uh, just curious, did y'all like that breakdown of the chase? Did y'all like how I, like, broke down what I was thinking? Because I'm not very good at doing that when I'm actually in the moment. I'm not very good at... I, I usually just don't talk while I'm playing. But I, I thought it would be fun to talk exactly about like why I did certain things. All right, cool. Cause I'm I'm planning on making a YouTube series that I'm gonna call Survivor's Ed, um, and I'll be doing a lot of stuff like that in the series. It'll be like recorded videos, not streamed games. So I'm I'm uh, uh think of that as the pilot. 